Hello, Sagittarius Furious. I'm going to look into your situation and see what's going on. So whatever the cards want to say. Could be love, could be money, could be career. Just whatever pops up. And as always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. We have truth and clarity. We have waiting, hoping, praying. My email is right below in the description box below this video. We have divine intervention, synchronicity, true love, potential life partner. Sadness. Risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. Reconciliation. Manipulation, deception. Finances and career. Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. Hmm. Make your move, green light. Publicity, social media. I'll just put these up there. Apology, regret. Choose a path. Confusion and uncertainty, willpower, strength, confidence, and new love, fate, and encounter. So I'm seeing this energy for fire signs. Um, I got it for Aries too. And I think Leo, there was a little bit, I didn't get into that, but there was a hint of that for Leo as well. So I'm noticing that fire signs right now are having, going through a lot of major life changes. And on top of that, a lot of you guys have multiple love options on t on top of all of that, too. It feels like someone's coming back around, but it feels kind of manipulative. It feels like it feels like there's some kind of truth that's coming out. It feels like maybe you are waiting for somebody for a while, hoping and praying that they would come back around. And I feel like, or this could be this person, it's like either they were waiting for you or vice versa. Someone was waiting here. And it feels like the divine is intervening. It feels like the divine is showing this person, you know, because this was a potential life partner. And, you know, with the card, with the sadness card here, I feel like the divine showed this per is showing this person now that they caused you a lot of heartbreak. I feel like maybe they were waiting for you to reach out and, you know, you were sad and you were waiting for them. I'm getting, it's, it's you fire signs are going through a lot of the same things right now is what I'm picking up right here. Um... Lots of life changes for fire signs over the next few months, definitely. But I f yeah, I feel like someone was waiting for you or you were waiting for them. And I feel like the divine is just intervening and showing this person the truth. You know, I don't think this person realized how heartbroken you were. I think that you, it's like you wanted them to come to you. You wanted them to pursue you. I don't think this person realized how much they hurt you. I think that they just kind of assumed that you moved on with your life. Maybe that you were dating somebody new. Um, they, I don't think they really knew what was going on, but I feel like the divine is intervening and showing them how much pain you, you know, they caused you. They could even be having dreams about it as well. They might, you know, be seeing you crying in their dreams. It's like they're finally picking up on it. So they're wanting to make a bold gesture. They're wanting to choose love over fear. They're wanting to reconcile with you. You know, they want to make this grand romantic gesture, but it does feel like it's partially manipulative. Because we have finances and career here. And for some, I feel like this, it could be about money. This person might, like maybe their job isn't going well. And so they're wanting, you know, they're wanting some kind of support. I feel like... I feel like this could also be someone that chose money over you. Maybe they had to choose between love and money and appearances. And they chose money. They chose appearances. They chose, you know, glamour. They chose a certain lifestyle. 
So it's like they want to reconcile. I feel like they're starting to realize that they shouldn't have pushed you away. They're starting to realize how much they hurt you. And yeah, you know, I feel like they might come back around. But there's something about it that just seems deceptive. It's like they're still wearing a mask. They're still, they're still not fully being themselves with you. You know, like I said, they might be, you know, they might have... They might have chosen a job or a career or a certain image over you. It's like they didn't want to be seen a certain way, so they just decided to let you go. It feels like they are going to apologize for that. It does feel like cause we have publicity social media. Like they want to choose you, and I feel like they want to choose you publicly. Like maybe they were embarrassed of you before. Like they didn't want their friends or family to know. This could have been like a third party situation where you were like kind of a secret. Like they didn't want to deal with the backlash, so they hid you from people. And now they're wanting to come out and be public with it. And they're wanting to apologize. But I think you're going to need to choose a path. And I feel like when this comes in, you're going to be confused because I feel like some of you probably think that you've moved on from this and you have for the most part. But I feel like when it actually comes back around, it might be more painful and more difficult than you're expecting. But, you know, if you want to move forward, you do have another potential life partner. You do have new love faded encounter that you can go with instead of this. It's up to you. So it's like, yeah, they missed you and they're realizing that they messed up. They're realizing that you, you're in pain. They're realizing that they caused that pain. They are wanting to reconcile, but it just really feels like... It just really feels like there could be like a hidden motive or there could be... I just feel like there could be something else going on here. I mean, I am feeling like they want to clear this up, but at the same time, like, let's say that they chose a job over you and it's like now that job, you know, they're, ha they're having some bad karma for choosing money over love and that job is going to shit. Well, it's like, okay, now they want you back and they want to apologize, but like, would they have wanted to apologize if that job had gone well for them, if they hadn't run into that bad karma? You know, those are the questions you're going to have to ask yourself because I feel like you're going to be very confused when this comes in and you need to be honest with yourself, you know? Pay attention to the green flags, yes, but also pay attention to the red flags. And remember that you do have a choice. Like I said, if you decide, I feel like this is coming back around because there's unfinished business here. So if you decide that you're done with this, and that's totally okay. If you decide that you're done with this and you want to complete this karmic cycle, you do have new love coming in. You do have a destined encounter coming in. It's up to you. You know, you don't have to go back to this. Domination, control, passion, romance. Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other better. Submissive. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Yeah, I feel like in the past it was like a power struggle between you two. I mean, there's a lot of passion there. And I think you guys both didn't know what to do with all that energy. I feel like now they're more willing to submit to you. It's like you're pulling them in. I feel like maybe in the past, you know, it's like they, they could afford to be in this power struggle with you. But they're realizing that they can't afford to be in that energy anymore. So they're kind of giving into this, you know, this this beauty, this mystery, this enchantment, this kind of energy right here. You know, that's, that's you. It's like, you're just kind of standing in your power. You're, you're divine. You're beautiful, male or female. You're just standing in your, in your power. You're pulling them in. You're taking it slow. And now they're more willing to give up control and stop having to be right all the time and just, you know, submit to this energy right here. So, but again, you know, this cycle can complete if you want it to. You really need to be honest with yourself because I do feel like there was some def some deception here in the past. There was, um, this person cared way too much about what other people think. This person cared way too much about, about money and, you know, jewelry, cars, um, 
could be someone who made a lot of money who just, you know, didn't want to give that up. Um, just kind of superficial things. It's like this person wasn't really willing to step out of their comfort zone for love. And it's like now, yeah, now they're learning these karmic lessons. So they're more open to that. They're open to this change now. But it's like, do you really want that? Is it, you know, is it too late? And you, ha it's up to you. Like I said, it's, it's not, I don't feel like this is set in stone here. I feel like this is really up to you. Do you want this back? But, you know, don't let this person catch you off guard because I feel like there could be a lot of confusion. Like I said, when this person apologizes, it might really leave you confused. It might be very unexpected. This might be someone that was very prideful, very macho, very stubborn, someone that would never apologize. And so it might really catch you off guard when they're actually vulnerable and they apologize. And you might, you know, lose yourself in that energy and, and want to go back to them even though you had planned to move on from it. Um, so you really need to kind of think in this energy now, just, you know, sit and think about what you really want, you know, because like I said, if you want to wrap this cycle up, you totally can and you can manifest this new love, this destined encounter. The universe will bring you somebody else if that's what you want. Um, you have to just talk to your spirit guides, though, and let them know what you want. Let them know, you know, just, just make that decision. Don't, don't get stuck in limbo, you know, talk to your spirit guides and, and let them know how you feel about this. Let them know what you're wanting. And when you word it too, don't say that you don't want, try to work, try to use, um, words like try to say you do want and try to word it as if it's happening in the present moment, because that's what really helps it manifest in the present moment. So, you know, you would not want to say, oh, I don't want someone that cheats on me. You would want to say, I want someone that's loyal because that has that energy of, you know, it's like you're manifesting that energy of having someone that's loyal. Whereas if you're saying you don't want someone that cheats on you, you're still just kind of focused on the cheating. It's still that energy that you're putting out in the universe. I hope that makes sense. So, so don't say, I don't want a cheater. Say, I do want someone that's loyal. Don't say, I don't want a man that's stupid. Say, I do want a man or a woman that's intelligent. Um, you know, you know, tell the universe what you do want and word it as if, you know, tell them you want it now. Tell them, you know, feel the feelings of having it now. Um, really get into that vibra vibration and I feel like you're going to manifest it. You know, the choice is yours here. The world is your oyster right now. So, yeah, it's, it's good energy overall. Um, and as always, if you want a private reading, just email me. Thank you guys for watching. And please like, share, comment, subscribe. Maybe someone on your social media needs to hear this message as well. Thanks.